Hello everybody, I have been to the hospital three times this week. You heard that right, three times. I have been to the hospital three times this week. I feel like a survivor, like in Disney's Child Song. I'm a survivor. I'm gonna go something, 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 okay? I'm not gonna sing because, you know, my voice is gone. So let's start. I went to the hospital on the 14th of this week, which was Monday. Yes, I'm looking at my calendar because I don't know the dates. Karen and I went I told them that I was experiencing pelvic pain and that it just felt high pressure so diagnosis main health problem on my discharge paper say acute right lower quadrant pain that was what I was experiencing so they read a CAT scan they did urine tests they lost two of my urine tests um, the CAT scan came out good they did like Blood test like there was no tomorrow. This is in the Winter Park Memorial Hospital, by the way, in Florida. And they just gave me ibuprofen and they discharged me like in three hours. All right. That's one discharge paper. Let's move on to the next one. I go to work the next day, right? I get a doctor's excuse not to go to work, like in case, you know, like I haven't been feeling well. But me as a dedicated employee, I went to work. Then at work the next day, so I went to work on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday during work, I wasn't feeling well. Like I was dizzy. I was very nauseous. I was, my bones hurted. Like I didn't understand what was going on. Like, can y'all please tell me what's going on? Like, I feel like I'm dying. So then Wednesday morning, I left work. Almost fainted like so many times on the bus coming back. I went and I told them my symptoms and the diagnosis main health problem for them was the abdominal pain, constipation, and I'm going to say it, vaginal discharge. And I wasn't like saying like vaginal discharge, like, no, I mean like ovulating, but they took it the wrong way. I told the doctor all my symptoms and he wrote that down and it's just like. He issued tests that weren't even supposed to be made. He went off of not even my full symptoms. And then he just gave me a bunch of medication. And I'm telling him all my symptoms. I wrote I wrote a list of my symptoms down on my notes. Let me pull it up. I show him all my symptoms really fast. I showed him all my symptoms. I read him all my symptoms because my first language is Spanish. So then I freak out, and I freak out, like, okay, why can't I, why can't I feel better? Like, I feel like I'm legit dying. And then all he gave me was a bunch of antibiotics that I wasn't even supposed to take. He told me I had um, a STD, which I don't. My results came out negative, even though I told him I've already taken those tests in May. So he just didn't listen to me. He issued them. Now I'm having side effects from that shot and from all those antibiotics that he put me in my system. But you know, I don't have money to sue. So this is why I'm making this video. Don't go to the hospital in East Rollins College. The doctor, I can't remember his name. Just make sure that when you go to the hospital, it's, it's a life or death situation. I learned it the hard way this week. He issued tests, um, I'm freaking out, and it's just, like, really bad, right? The results came out negative, I'm okay, like, with the, why would you issue, like, that exam if you don't, I'm telling you that I don't have the symptoms of a STD, like, I'm telling you all my symptoms, I'm telling you I have chills and all of that, and he just went off to the std like what and then you can tell that this doctor didn't know what he was doing because when he was doing the pap smear he was asking me where my cervix was like i'm sorry i'm getting very like legit personal so if you're uncomfortable with that type of stuff i wouldn't encourage you to watch this video but i have to be like honest about when it comes to like your health it really does matter and if you don't have health insurance like me like hospitals don't care At least the ones over here don't. 
Then Friday, the next day, I end up in the hospital again because I couldn't breathe. So the diagnosis main health problem for that hospital was right hip pain, contusion of hip. I don't know who made that report. I went in there telling them I couldn't breathe. I went in there telling them that I felt nauseous. I didn't feel well. Like, what is happening? Like, why am I feeling this way? Like, why? So then I did my research. They finally diagnosed me with the flu. And guess what they gave me? Ibuprofen. Yes. They didn't give me the antibiotics I needed for the flu. They gave me ibuprofen. And I took it. I am done with hospitals. I've taken so many medications that I'm done taking medications at the moment. All I'm taking is vitamin C, and that's natural. Okay. So the symptoms of the, I hope I pronounce this right, sony injection is used to treat certain infections caused by bacteria such as gonorrhea, sexually transmitted disease, pelvic inflammatory disease, yada yada. You know, you know what an STD is. So the side effects of that is, um, what side effects can this medication cause? Plus, I'm using medicineplus.gov, so you can go ahead and look for that on Google. The injection may cause side effects to your doctor if any of these symptoms are severe or do not go away. Pain, tenderness, hardness, or warmth in the place where... The injection was put. I got it on my thigh, but I ended up getting it on my back thigh and have a bruise. Got diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. I've been very nauseous, chest pain. Okay, let me just skip to like urinating out more often than usual. I haven't experienced the pain for urination, thankfully. Uh, difficulty swallowing or breathing. Remember, I told you guys I can't breathe. Like I couldn't breathe. Swelling of the throat or tongue. My my throat. My tongue felt like it was swelling up. And seizures, thank God I didn't get those. So I'm making this video so when you know that go to the hospital only if it's a life or death situation. If you have symptoms of the flu, like me, just go to your primary care doctor. If you don't have one, just find one. Like I don't have one over here. I have mine in Texas. So when it comes to these like little symptoms and little scenarios like this, don't go to the hospital because they will not diagnose you with the real problem and they don't really care about you when it comes to that unless you have health insurance. So they will like run over you and it's just really important for you to take care of your health and drink lots of water, um, get cough drops, get the, get vaccinated, vaccinated, um, Drink vitamin C, drink lots of fluids. That's what I've been doing. I am drinking cough drops, drinking, taking cough drops because I have, this is not my voice. My voice is usually like very girly. <coughs> but it's okay. You got to embrace it, right? Hair flips. Is... Yes. So when it comes to, let me show you guys uh, what I've been taking. Gatorade, it'll hydrate you. These are the vitamin C pills I got from the hospital, from the hospital, from Walmart, not from the hospital. I got them from a neighborhood Walmart. I believe they were like around six dollars. And yes, I'm thirsty. Okay. I read online that after that shot, that you should just be drinking like a lot of water. You need to get this out of my system. I really hope I do feel better. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It has, I hope it's been very informational. The names of the hospital I went to were Wendell Park Memorial, the Advent Health in East Rollins in Florida, and then the last one I went to was the one Florida East. All of these are Advent Health in Florida. And no, I don't have health insurance. But you know what? This taught me a lesson. I'm going to get health insurance because my health matters. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope that my voice <coughs> isn't as bad as it, as it sounds. Because <laughs> it does like squeak in here and there like when I try to sing like, you know, like when I try to sing. 
when I try to sing a song like the ABC and I try to hit a high note like for example A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y N Z Oh, I guess it is going away. Yas, my voice is going wait, my voice is coming back, not going away. This video is not sponsored by Gatorade, but please drink Gatorade or Powerade if you are dehydrated. Bye.